Thank you for purchasing this Viewpoint Flat Panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product, or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-888-333-9952. This DVD should be used as a supplement to the instruction manual provided. Please make sure you read the manual thoroughly before installing this mount. If you have any trouble viewing this DVD, please visit viewpoint.sanus.com for an online version. Tool Check To install this product, you will need a level, a stud finder, a Phillips screwdriver, a 13 mm or half inch wrench, a 3 16 inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 3 8 inch masonry bit for concrete or concrete block installations, and an electric drill. It is also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts Check Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, please contact customer service at 1-888-333-9952 to have the parts sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the wall plate to the wall. Step 1-1. Wood stud mounting. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed one half inch or 13 millimeters in thickness. Use a stud sensor to locate and mark a stud. It's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your TV, use a level and hold the wall plate assembly against the wall to mark three hole locations on the stud. Two above the extension arm and one below the extension arm. Using the 3 16 inch drill bit, Pre-drill three holes to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate assembly using the three lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with a wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 1-2, concrete or concrete block mounting. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, use a level and hold the wall plate assembly against the wall to verify the correct position for your TV. Mark three hole locations, two above the extension arm and one below the extension arm. Make sure the holes are not located in the mortar between blocks. Drilling into mortar can result in property damage or personal injury. Using the 3 8 inch masonry bit, pre-drill three holes to a depth of two and a half inches. Do not drill into the mortar between the blocks. Insert the concrete anchors into the wall with pointed ends first. Make sure each anchor is seated completely flush with the concrete or concrete block surface. If there is a layer of facing material in front, it must not be greater than 1 half inch or 13 millimeters in thickness for your application to match the installation methods described in this video. Attach the wall plate assembly using the three lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with a wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step two, attach the monitor brackets to the back of your TV. Step two one, mount the monitor brackets to a TV with a flat back and no obstructions. First, determine the diameter of the bolt your television requires. Hand thread a bolt into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another bolt diameter until you have the correct size. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the monitor bracket, and finally into the TV. Step 2-2. Mount the monitor brackets to a TV with a curved back or an obstruction near the threaded insert. First, determine the diameter of the bolt your television requires and thread a bolt into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another bolt diameter until you have the correct size. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer and the monitor bracket. Add a spacer between the monitor plate and the television. 
M4 and M5 bolts will require a second flat washer between the bracket and the spacer. Step 3. Attach the horizontal mounting brackets to the monitor brackets on the back of the TV. Slide the mounting brackets horizontally through the corresponding slots in the monitor brackets, making sure the perforated ridge is facing outward. Position the brackets so they are even with each other, then secure with the 15mm bolts. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips screwdriver. Optional. Make sure the horizontal mounting brackets are perfectly centered over the monitor brackets before proceeding. Step 4. Attach the monitor to the wall plate assembly. Please note, before proceeding, verify that the wall plate assembly and the monitor brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television respectively. With the help of an assistant, slide the tab on the mounting plate assembly into the corresponding slot on the top of the horizontal mounting bracket. Then secure the mounting plate to the mounting bracket using the 10 mm bolt and tighten it using a Phillips screwdriver. Step 5. Adjust the swivel and tilt tensions. Use the Allen wrench to set the arm tension for swivel and extend motions. You can also tighten or loosen the adjustment knob on the mounting head to adjust tilt tension. Step 6. Route cables and install covers. Pull the mount arm to full extension, then loosely route the TV cables through the arm, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the arm is moved. Position the covers inside the arm and secure with bolts. You are now ready to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television.